Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 3. In the last episode, I... Uh... Shit. I forgot. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Wow, it's been so long, huh? That I forgot what I did? It's only been a week. Let's see, if I remember correctly, I went around the Grand Archives, opened up some shortcuts... I think. Well, I opened up the door, at least. And I was collecting treasure. And I think that's... Was it? See, so, yeah. This, this operational? It is! Okay, so that means... Oh, now I remember where I am. I am at the uh, endgame farming spot for the base game. As well as the walkway up to the boss. Okay, uh, analog stick, you want to stop being so jittery? Okay. Well, this looks familiar. <laughs> this is straight out of Demon Souls with the with Baltaria. Nice. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a second. First of all, we want to come up here because this is where our f end game. Oh, we can actually see the fucking sun up here. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Almost as if it looks like, oh, I don't know, the thing that every undead is cursed with. The dark sign. Hmm? <sighs> it's almost as if the world is falling apart. Anyway, we actually want to come up here to this uh, tower, but is there actually anything? Aha! Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. Gotta be careful I don't accidentally fall off into a kill zone. And as you can see, we got some uh, Wicked Knights, assholes. Let me see if I could do a little bit of a uh, sneaky sneaky backstabby stabby. Equip this. Equip the uh, shadow set for lightness. Let's see, we get close up to here. They'll fall down. And so long as we are far enough away from them, they won't all aggro. Which is actually perfect. Let's see. Hunter's ring! Here it is. Our fourth stat ring that we want. Now we have all of them. Well, technically we could also have a second priestess ring, but uh, I didn't feel like getting it. Ring engraved with a portrait of a hunter. Increases dexterity. Hunt, the hunter served Lothric on the fringes in the shadows. For generations, rulers of Ro Lothric have relied especially on the Black Hand Hunters to punish enemies in the ways the King's Three Pillars cannot. So, spies and assassins, and we could have acquired the help of one, and we got one of, and we got both of them's paired weaponry. And based on theories, uh, the uh, Cellsword Twin Blaze that the mercenary gets is also technically a member. But uh, that's just hogwash because paired weaponry does not actually mean part of the hunters. Anyway, ignore you guys for a second. I'm going to be grabbing this because we want to backstab all these knights. That's the shard. Nice. That's giving us 14. Okay, now. 
I want to equip my shield of one. Yeah, I know I can't wield it correctly. Now, if only I had the ability to, you know, not be heard. God damn! And this will give us 17k. Large Titanite Shard. Yeah, these guys offer a lot of souls. So like I said, this area, specifically these three idiots, are ba the base game's end game farming spot. There we go. And I actually want to kill all three of these guys for another reason, too. Right in your spine, Uncle. Spinal Colum? All up. Come on, Golden Boy. Goodbye, Golden Boy. Free Titanite Slab for killing them the first time around. And a Titanite Chunk. Nice. Okay, so that's another Titanite Slab for the collection. Now, if we come down here, we will actually land right up here in the rafters. Oop. Screw you guys. We actually want to land here in this cage. Divine Pillars of Light. Miracle of Gertrude, the Heavenly Daughter, and I think we found her cage. Brings down multiple pillars of light in vicinity. The Queen's Holy Maiden Gertrude was visited by an angel who revered this tale to her. Revealed. Despite losing both her sight and her voice, she was determined to record the tale. Ordinary men cannot decipher her fragmentary scrawl, nor comprehend how it became the foundation of the angelic faith of Lothric. Oh, she got visited by something, all right. Okay, now, for some reason today, my fucking right analog stick is the one that's fucking drifting all over the place, and not the left. Which is good, considering that uh, I don't want to, you know, fall to my doom here. That guy's gonna be an asshole. Well, at least I got a blessed gem now. Almost fell off. No thank you. Okay, we're off the rafters. Thank God, no more dangerous shit. Ah, free treasure. Twinkling Titanite, and another divine blessing for me to have. Thank you. Seemed like there was something hidden here. And we are back here. Yep, we're back here again. And hello, Crystal Lizard. Twinkly Tide Knight and a refined gem, eh? Okay, fine, assholes. I see your point. Jackasses. 
Okay, so this is where we end up. Alright then. Back to the bonfire last rest of the day. And there was also another... And that's n this is not it. There's an elevator around here that has a treasure at the bottom of the elevator shaft, but I forget where the fuck it is. I actually think it's over it's over this direction. Well, actually, I need to get up top. Okay, up we go. Yeah, I might as well have this on. Let's see, I believe my, uh... Other slab I can get in Lothar Castle is actually right in front of me. I just need to get past all the fucking soldiers in my way. Ugh. Might as well have the Hunter's Ring to increase my dexterity. I don't need this on. Equip this back on. And swap back to the Black Knight set. Because I like the way it looks. And that's all I need. Okay, time to deal with the soldiers. Hey, who said you could all live? Ow. Oh, I fucking hate this bridge. Too many crossbows. Nice headshot, you dick. Oh, I really wish my camera wasn't drifting all over the place today. And I gotta be careful because this guy is a red eye knight, which means he's a lot more dangerous than the others. You gonna follow me down the stairs? All right, that works. Now we take care of the spears. Fucking assholes in the back. Fine, I'll take care of you first. You mother fuckers. Assholes. How dare you have deceptive range. Eat a dick. Standard bolts. Why do I still have the calamity symbol? Oh wait, the prisoner's chain, that's why. Oh great. Oh great! I forgot about you guys. And I can't run past you either, I need to take care of... But you fuckers just charge already. Oh yeah. This is definitely Demon Souls right here. Including with the stupid bullshit. I know, I like every part of the Outrider set except for the fucking helmet. I think the helmet looks stupid. Alright, come on, Spear Boy. 
Separate you from the pack. Come on. Come on. Stop trying to hit me and charge, you son of a bitch. Nothing a little hiss. Stop walking. Oh, for the lull. Well, that works. Rather effectively, I might add. Okay, so, so long as I don't, you know, try to go behind him, dealing with the spears is not the, not an issue. Come on, boys. Come on. Charge me, you fucker. Nice try. Aha, I got the advantage. High ground doesn't mean shit. Not in this series, anyway. Okay, now to deal with the motherfucking greatsword. Who hits like a fucking truck? Which is to be expected. Take it. Greatsword's a lot easier to fucking. Don't try to block with it. S you fucking dumbass. You deserve that one. Well, we made it to the twin princes boss fight. Fantastic. Well, I say twin princes, but it's Lothric. Okay, now. Ah, yes. This is the elevator, right? We get on top of this one. We ride it all the way down to the bottom. And we should be able to see... Well, we made it back down to this part of Walther Castle. Which now, this bonfire being here, makes a little bit more sense. Well... Technically, the bonfire that's past here should be right here. That way it's beside two different shortcuts. Well, whatever. See, this one now works. If I were to send this back up, am I able to see... Aha! It is this one. Now this works, we could take this second elevator down. Da da da! Titanite slab. That is my number three. Four Titanite slabs acquired. So that's one. Two, three. So I can technically, let's see, how many chunks do I have? 11. Okay, so this is at eight. This is at seven. So I need 12 plus four. So I need 16. I think. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry about that. Ugh. Man, I keep getting interruptions lately, and I don't know. Wait, I think I know why. It's because I uh, am uh, not doing this as early or as late as I should. Anyway, yeah, so we need 16 Titanite chunks. So I need to buy fi five more or get five more. Which is just wonderful, by the way. 
Ugh. Okay, send that back down. Okay, now, what am I doing exactly? Uh... Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to see if I killed off the secondary Outrider Knight that's over here. That's what I'm doing. I'm making sure that I kill that one, too. And I need to kill this idiot as well, otherwise he's gonna be throwing fucking Lloyd talismans at me all day. Ow! Motherfucker. Fucking asshole. Oh, wait, it's the guy over there. Well, we get the Irithyll Rapier now. As well as all the goodies he was guarding. Titanite Scale. Spirit Tree Crest Shield. This one's a Mimic. Or not. And Twinkly Titanite. And lastly, more Twinkling Titanite. Perfect. Okay, so the Irithyll Rapier. Same class as the Irithyll Straight Sword. Thrusting Sword bestowed upon the Outrider Knights of the Boreal Valley. This weapon is shrouded in frost and causes frostbite. Every Outrider Knight one day devolves into a beast, constantly hounded by Pontiff Sullivan's black eyes. Shield Splitter. Other than the large, uh, large basket hilt, I don't actually hate this design. Oh, of course, it's less of a rapier, more of a uh, lance, but uh, sure. Yeah, this is literally just a fucking lance that's been cut off at the head. Because you can't really use this for slicing. Because despite popular belief, you can use a rapier to cut things. It's not very good at cutting things, but you can still cut with it. It's still a sword. Anyway, back to the shrine bonfire. Because we've got some things I need to do. One dead bone shards. I need to talk to Andre to reinforce my Estus flask again. Ah, just what need. Okay, so we are one short. There's only one Estus flask shard left for me to grab. Pretty be my go. Okay, now then, I should have enough souls after I do this. Just rather than level up, or back. Back again, I see, I suppose. Yeah, I got some sorcerers I need to buy from you. Okay, should I? Yeah, I'll get the uh, sneaky ones first out of the way so I can get the first stuff here. Okay, so we need to buy... Oral Decay, Farron Flash Sword, Spook, and Pestilent Mist. And if we talk to him, it is folly to claim lives recklessly, friend. Do not be tempted. No matter the victim's stature, every killing has a consequence. 
even as I bloodied my hands, I never realized the simple truth. There I was, the very definition of a fool. Well, that's because you, good sir, are a, uh... Oh, I have something for you. You're a fine sorcerer now, no mistake. You should have something to prove it. Go on. If I'm giving something away, you'd better well take it. <laughs> Young dragon ring, nice. How do you like gimmicks, friend? This is a sign, a cipher, employed by sorcerers who use quietude to their advantage. So an ally, Jester. And the slumbering dragon crest ring. With this, you can be sure to tell friend from foe from your very first encounter. It's a very old practice at this point, but one that you deserve to know. Well, that's because you're a spook from Vinheim. You are literally a spellblade assassin. In Vinheim, I was an assassin. A sorcerer only in name. A killer for hire. What a fool I was, thinking one day I would learn real sorceries. When I became undead, I was exiled from the school. But here I am, now, exploring the depths of sorcery. All thanks to you, I might add. Funny how that, funny how, funny how life works out. Again, let us, uh. Anyway, let's buy out the rest of his stock. Cause time for him to move on. And this way, I don't actually have to kill him myself. Well, see, that's everything. You say anything? You are no ordinary man. All these sorceries, and you've mastered every one. If this were the Dragon School, you'd be... Well, overtly despised and banished from the place. Well, I suppose it's time I pack my bags. I would hate to see our agreement end sourly. Better left, tucked away, as a pleasant memory. You are no all if the well, I better let promise to stay safe. It's been nice running our own little school. Yeah, don't worry, Orbeck, I'll be fine. You on the other hand, my friend, you ain't gonna be surviving. Ah, uh, I <laughs> Okay. Uh, I don't need to buy anything from you, I just need you to reinforce my pyromancy flame. Do not be gone. What is it? <laughs> well, it's a teacher without a pupil. Unemployed. Yes, I keep making the same joke. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't need to learn anything else from you, so we're good. Do stay. Do I still have a fucking tome in my inventory? No, I do not. Oh, champion, after you wished it. Uh, you got nothing for me. I was not meant to be a firekeeper. But I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Have a pleasant journey, champ, I pray. Okay. That's out of the way now. Orbex taken care of. Yeah. Okay, so I got options here. I can A, fight the Prince of Lothric and, and get the final uh, embers that we need. We can head back to the Ar Archdragon Peak in order to face off against the final boss there. I can also start the DLC. Choices, choices. Hmm.
I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to subtitle this episode. Let's see. I need to do Arch Dragon. But yeah, I need to beat the final boss of Arch Dragon Peak anyway because that's where my last Estus shard is, I believe. As well as possibly the last undead bone shard. Let's see. We're at 14 flask and plus 8 on the level. Let me double check here. Let's see, we wanna look up. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Consumables! Here we go. Come on. Here we are. Estus Flask. Okay, we are require two more undead bone shards. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Got that one. I think I got that one. Oh, there might be a mimic alive. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to check all these places in order to make sure I didn't miss one. That's asinine. Okay, what about the undead bone shards? Where are the last two? Oh, good. I'm gonna have to re enter. Oh, son of a whore. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go through all this crap in order to make sure. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's just great. Well, that's gonna be a plus. I'm gonna be having to do a fucking scavenger hunt. My favorite. <sighs> well, I should head to the giant belfry anyway. Because I want to kill Havel the Rock because he's blocking things that I want. Also, killing Havel means he won't show up in the summoning pool for the goddamn bitches with the freaking stabs. Now I just need to remember how to get to Havel the Rock. Ow. Fuck your combo attacks, you fucking bitch. There's something I remember how to actually get to where Havel is. Oh wait, it's over here, I'm being dumb. Takes care of you. You saw the curve on that, right? Asshole. Okay, well, here we go again. This time we're gonna be sneaky deaky. Chaos dagger. Oh yeah, I also need to upgrade this too. Okay, fire clutch ring. I don't need this on. I will take the sword ring, though. And uh, the hornet ring. Okay, where the shadow set? Mainly because I don't have the thief stuff. And we're also going to put on... Where's Slumbering at? There it is. Ring of a clandestine guild of sorcerers based in Vinheim, home of sorcery. 
Mass the sound of its word. The Dragon School held efficiency. Yeah, hold effective sovereignty over Vinheim. We have a great many adepts assassins at disposal. And now this motherfucker. Oh wow, that's. I hey, demon soul sounds. Where I've been? It's been a while. Okay, now this is gonna be fucking dangerous because Havel here hits like a brick house, like he always does. So. Oh boy. Well, thanks for the Titanite slab you were guarding there, buddy. Okay, yeah, sure, hitboxing. That makes sense. Well. Nice to know that Havel's still the same dick as ever. Oh. And it looks like I'm going to have to go with the old-fashioned, uh, chain parry backstab. Later, boys! Climb, Mr. Squidward, climb! Nice try. Fortunately for me, the snake people can't climb shit. Hey, Avil. Holy shit, you could parry that? What? That should have counted. I'm out of- My coffee's empty, why am I trying to suck something that isn't there? Oh, this is gonna be one of those days, isn't it, where I try to parry Havel to death. That's a smart idea. First gotta deal with this cunt. Egypt, get out of my way. Now to take care of, rid of get rid of you. Ain't nobody got time for you. And I'm pretty sure you're the one who was shooting at me earlier. Come on, I want you to come over here. Perfect. You want to fall off the ledge for me? Of course you don't. Of course you don't. Hey, Havel, why don't you go fight the other dragon? Why do you got to be such a dick? How do I survive on that? Holy shit, they gave Havel a fucking memory. He knows how to prevent himself from being backstabbed. No. No bullshit for you. I said no. I mean, sure, just gonna keep on trying to do that move. I'm gonna I'm not gonna stop you. Moron! You absolute moron! He was trying to activate fucking iron flesh. Or technically stone flesh with Havel's fucking shield. That was great shield and dragon tooth. Yeah, he was trying to activate stone flesh. The problem with him trying to activate stone flesh rather than just trying to constantly hit me is that uh, it basically lets me backstab, chain backstab him to death. Okay, well, that worked. Rather efficiently, I might add. Anyway, a tremendous, solid, and heavy great shield cut straight from a giant slab of stone. Said to be a relic of the legendary Havel the Rock. 
Along with the Dragon Tooth, this shield is imbued with a special power reminiscent of Hathel himself. Stone Flesh. Raise the shield in silent prayer, turning the user's body into a solid mass of stone. Which basically gives you the effects of the Iron Flesh spell. And now Dragon Tooth. Created from an everlasting Dragon Tooth that will never break. Left by Havel himself, along with his boulder like great shield, grants its wielder resistance to magic and fire, and gives us perseverance. Anchor weapon in Earth to temporarily boost poise, damage reduced while activated. It also increases our magic and fire absorption. Well, that was fun. Well, now that Havel is no longer in the fucking picture here. And I got another slab, which means that I can now upgrade another piece of gear. See, this is that plus 10, so one, two, three. Yeah, Chaos Dagger. Oh, yeah, Spirit Tree Shield. The tree shield engraved with a crest depicting a spirit tree. One of the enchanted blue shields, the Spirit Tree Crest Shield greatly reduces lightning damage. Really? Well, that's convenient, because there's a boss that does a lot of lightning damage in here. That's funny. Later. Okay, well, that was fun. But the best part about that is, with Havel dead, that means I could do this farm with no problem at all. I say as I'm probably going to get one shot repeatedly. Because my dagger's damage is absolutely piss poor right now. Equip this. Yeah, I know. I don't need this on anymore. See how much damage we do with a backstab on you. Almost everything. Sorry, your armor ain't protecting you, buddy. Yeah, as long as the bitch upstairs isn't dead, she even responds you. I deserve that one. Well, that was, uh, nasty. that you are toast well now at least I now know that the farm here is actually possible on repeat so I got two places to farm up souls fantastic Okay, let's just uh, make sure that uh, Orbeck has actually left Firelight now. Because if he has, perfect. I just need for him to... Yep, he's gone now. Perfect. Which means that if I beat a boss, he'll be able to be summoned up for the Lothric fight if I want. Most importantly, his ashes will show up soon. Ah. Uh, do I have anything worth selling? No, I do not. I do have a couple of Titanite chunks I want to buy, though. I can only buy two, which is lame. Ashen Lower your prices, you fucking cheapskate. Andre, I need you to upgrade my shit. Oh yeah, I forgot my bow. I keep forgetting I have a bow. Well... I mean, technically I need this for faster farming purposes, so I might as well get this to plus 10 first. 
Okay, now I just need to upgrade these two. Pretty like that. Don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> okay, what's my attack rating looking like now? 447. Okay, let's go she... She? See if we can one-shot him now. We are almost doing it at a plus 7. Dagger. Let's see how we do at a plus 10 dagger. With all my buffs as well. Okay, we run all the way to the other side. Lock on. Backstab. Ooh, so close. Well, stabbing works. Okay, so I do have the silver serpent ring equipped. God damn it, I really wish I was one-shotting you. Okay, sure, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that makes total sense. Oh, well, that was just a bunch of bullshit. I mean, granted, this ain't a fit. It's easy, but it's not the best, so... Why am I busy playing around? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stop here, otherwise I'm just gonna be mindlessly doing shit for no reason. Ugh. <sighs> Man, it's Saturday, but it feels like a fuck. But I'm acting like it's a goddamn Monday. Oh, wait, I know why I'm acting like this. Because it's getting close to the end of the game. That's why. Well, the base game. I haven't touched the DLC yet, so. How about I stop being so fucking scatterbrained and just focus here? Focus, you moron! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Dark Souls 3. Hope you enjoyed the scatterbrained episode as I finished up some loose ends. In the next episode, I decide which boss I want to tackle next. But until then, thank you for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.